Yes guys, welcome back to another video I'm doing here on the channel. Today we are back with our FA Trophy special, semi-final special of Saving the Tigers with Gloucester City. Since the last video we did, things have been going very, very well. Uh, two wins and a draw in the league. Um, and yeah, very happy. But as I said, today we have our FA Trophy semi-final special. Uh, it's two legs. Obviously we're going to be doing both of those games today. We're going to miss out this middle game against Dagenham and Redbridge. And just do the two FA Trophy games. But we are coming towards the end of this season. Um, and a new chapter will be beginning soon with Gloucester. But hopefully today we get the victory. The team we're putting out there to hopefully do that is we've got Ojasinski in goal. We have a back four of Burton, Badrami, Denham and Glennon. Denham and Glennon. Um, I don't know why I repeat myself there. I didn't. Denham and Glennon, it's that very sort of similar endings to the to those two names. Uh, we have Estrada, Whelan and Boot in central midfield. We have Stanley playing out on the right. We have Chakwana playing on the left. And we have H Hector Ingram up front. And, uh, and yeah, very, very positive performance I'm hoping for today with home team to start off with. I'm pretty sure there must be away goals in this. Otherwise, you know... There wouldn't be a, a reason as to why there's a like, home advantage. Or, but, um, but yeah, semi-finals, the FA Trophy is very good. As I've said in previous saves, I've um, I've actually won this competition, but not on screen in, in FM20 um, in a sort of my own personal save that I was doing with, uh, with Weymouth, actually. Weymouth FC, we won the FA Trophy. It's on my Twitter, um, as proof the picture, you know, um, and Connor Stanley's injured, and I'm at, I am actually going to bring him off now because I don't want that getting worse. Um, and we'll bring Max Robson on, who's going to play as that inside forward, and you know really start pushing pushing the uh, the Halifax defenders back, and hopefully you know giving space for our wing back Burton to um, to overlap and, and get some good crosses into the box. Uh, but you know it's it's not it's not the end of the world. I mean, I suppose we just need to play better um if we you know if, if we don't win today it's not the end of the world you know we could very easily pick up the victory in the last game um of the video the second leg of this Halifax game it's going to be tough you know two legs 180 minutes of football and and yeah it's tough you know it's you know it's, it's not meant to be easy Aldershot beating Kidderminster in their game um so, yeah, Aldershot got the advantage as the away team in that game. Denham with a shot. It's deflected. Badrami volleys it. And there's the goal. His first goal of the season. And what a time to get it. Gerardo Badrami. The assist is from James Boot. James Boot? I thought, um, hang on, let's have a look at this again. Hector Ingram whips it in. It's cleared. Denham shoots. Oh, it comes off Boot's head and drops to Badrami, who puts it in the back of the net. And there we go, we're 1-0 up. Brad Burton's picked up a booking as well as James Boot. Um, and they've now scored literally minutes later. And yeah, frustrating, you know, the way the, these things happen. It's a free kick for them as well. It's whipped into the box. It's, I mean, who's marking the back post? There's two at the back post, three. Um, and obviously, Ojasinski's beaten at his near post, which isn't ideal. But, but, um, but yeah, I mean... Poor defending for us, but you know it's it's you know w w I'm happy with the performance so far. Glennon's on the ball now, plays it through to Hector Ingram, has the shot from distance, and there's a the goal for Jamal Hector Ingram, his 12th of the season. Anthony Glennon with the assist, great play um, from from those two there. Glennon and Hector Ingram pairing up well, um, and it was great play Estrada to Denham who played it forward. And Glennon took a touch and then another touch and played it through. Hector Ingram had some space and from quite a distance shoots. And that's a blimming good goal. Um, yeah, I was a blimming. Is that a word? A blimming good goal? I suppose I was going to say bloody, but it came out as blimming. So we're going to we'll go with it. A blimming, a blimming good goal is what we're going to say for that. Um, if it is a word, then obviously great. If not, then I could have perhaps made up a new word there. Robson with the goal now in in the 64th minute. That's his length of the season. Oliver Denham, strange player um, to get the assist. It was, a, it was a corner for Whelan, who whipped it in. It was cleared at the far post to Denham, and he picked it up. 
Um, and crossed it in, and Robson was free in the box, and that's a good goal, and that's 3-1. And we're playing well, and I'm very happy. We're actually going to bring... Who can we... Yeah, we're going to bring Brad Burton off for Josh Thomas. Um, and, yeah. Obviously, we didn't want him getting a sending off. He'd been booked. And now, we're going to bring... We are going to bring boot off for Lucas Defees because same reason we don't want him getting sent off. But as I'm as I'm making that change, Estrada has picked up a booking, um, but we haven't got any subs left due to the earlier fact that we had to bring Stanley off for Robson due to injury. So, so yeah. So hopefully Estrada doesn't do anything stupid. And Hector Ingram's through now. Good shot. That's quality defending from Halifax there. I'm not sure who the player was that that got that block in there, but that was really good tracking back and, and then putting in a really good block. Um, so yeah, fair play to him. And then Robson's had a shot from quite a distance and, you know, he's put it over the bar. Glennon now with the throw in to Hector Ingram, knocks it back to defeat, across to Glennon again. What's he going to do with the ball? He plays it back to Estrada, who knocks it back to Glennon. Lucas defeats now on the ball. Estrada defeats. And defeats has given it away and now here come Halifax. Um, but Denham gets across and tackles him, but just tries to knock it down the line and doesn't really do anything. And Marsh now throw on goal for him, and that's a good goal for Halifax, but it was a, a goal that was sprinkled with Gloucester City uh, mistakes. Um, as you can see here, Denham, where's the clearance? That's poor. And Marsh, the, the ball over the top from Swift, and now Marsh is in, and he plays it across, and obviously a good goal. You know, not a lot we could do about that once they got into that position. There's been quite a few bookings in this game. Three for us and five for them. Quite a sort of hostile game, it would seem. Um, but the full time, there's the full time whistle, and we've gone and you know we've picked up the victory, um, and it puts us in a good position for the second leg uh, of this of this massive FA Trophy semi final. Aldershot won their game two 0 so um, it looks like if we get through against Halifax, we could be playing Aldershot in the final. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back. As I said, we're going to miss out the league game against Dagenham. And then we'll be back in just a second with the second leg against Halifax. Yes, guys, let's have about the second game of the video. The massive second leg of the FA Trophy semi-final against Halifax. The team we're putting out there today to hopefully pick up the victory and make the final is Trafford in goal. We have a back four of Burton, Patromi, Cordner and Glennon. We have Defees, Patterson and Alex Hunt in central midfield with Stanley on the right, McKendie down the left and Stratton up front. We got the win in the game that we did offline against Dagenham and Redbridge quite easily. There wasn't too much trouble there. Um, so, yeah, that was obviously good. Um, and, and, yeah, we go into this game full of confidence and, you know, really excited for what's going to happen. And, and, yeah, I mean, hopefully we can pick up a victory and, and get through to the, to the final. Do you know what I mean? Hunts then hit, hit the post from, like, the six yard area, which he probably should have done better with. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, we're really excited for what's going to happen today. Hopefully we can get through to that final and, and, you know, really sort of push on. Just looking up, Kidderminster have had a man sent off in a game against Aldershot, so it's looking very likely the winner of our game will be playing Aldershot, obviously 2-0 up from the first leg, and now obviously Kidderminster with the player sent off at Aldershot, so... Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's not looking good for Kid Kidderminster in that game. Um, Alex Hunt, the only real chance we've had hitting the bar from like the six-yard area earlier on in this game, which wasn't exactly the ideal. And as I'm waffling on, Alex Patson has gone and got his fifth goal of the season, and it was a great break from from Gloucester. From you know, we, we, we worked it well. They were attacking, but Alex Hunt started breaking forward. He... Perhaps got fouled there in the build-up, but Stratton played it through to Stanley, who was on the outside. His shot was saved well, but it was palmed back into the path of Patterson, who scored. Um, and yeah, there we go. 1-0 uh, up at half-time. And, and yeah, we are we're ecstatic. I mean, it, you might not be able to tell it in my voice, but yeah, very, very happy. And, and yeah, we, we're playing well. You know, there's no real cause for concern at this point in the game. Um, but, you know, as we know, things can change in an instant. So we're going to perhaps make a change. We're going to bring, we're going to put McKendie over to the right and we're going to bring Hector Ingram on down the left, I think. 
for Stanley. Obviously, he's been bocked, uh, bocked. He's been booked, and uh, and yeah, it's it probably need to bring him off. McKendy's not having the best of games though, which is which is worrying. But um, but uh, yeah, we're going to bring him off now for Max Robson. But there, there we go. It's um. It's looking quite good. Aldershot have taken the lead in their game, so it looks like we're going to be playing Aldershot in the final, um, which is going to be tough. They're a team in really, really good form. Um, and yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be full time on this game. And it is. There we go. We are through to a final. The FA Trophy. Gloucester City have done it. The Tigers are there. We've made it to the final of this amazing trophy. First leg triumph helps Gloucester past FC Halifax. Gloucester book won't be placed. All shots got secure playoff spot. And Gloucester to receive 21.22k uh, for winning in that game. And yeah, very excited. As we said, we won 2-0 against Dagenham Redbridge in the last game. And, um, and from the league table, you can see that we're four points behind Swindon, but we've got a game in hand on them. Um, to go within a point, obviously Aldershot are as well. They could sort of go two points clear. So we'd be three points behind Aldershot with a better goal difference. Um, and who have we got to play? Eastleigh, 21st. That would be a tough game. Torquay, 11th. Again, very tough. Woking, 22nd. Dulwich Hamlet, 7th. We then play Swindon, who are top of the table. We then play Fylde, who are 4th. And then we have the FA Trophy final. So potentially we could have a three-game special to end this season. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I did hit 50 subscribers just before the weekend, which was, you know, a great achievement for myself. And upon going on and looking today, I'm down to 46. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know what's happened there. But um, but yeah, I don't normally say it, but if you are watching this and you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Um because I want that 50 back, you know, I was very excited to have 50 subscribers and then to go on there today and look and only have 46 was quite a kick in the teeth, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time for another video. Cheers.